Hello people and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Yes right, two Kerbal Space Program videos in a week. Don't get used to it, don't. <laughs> um, I saw a comment this morning saying, build an aircraft carrier. So I've, well, prototyped one. I've prototyped an aircraft carrier. It's wearing roller skates. It's an aircraft carrier wearing roller skates. So I haven't tried it yet. I just know it goes backwards and forwards. I know that much. But yeah, so, so I do read the comments in the morning when I'm half asleep and going, yes, that would work. And then by the end of the day, um, I'm usually like, oh, can't be bothered. Because I usually have work. Luckily today, I booked the day off. Because my car's in for M MOT and um, etc. So, um, ooh, I better not turn too fast there. But yeah, so I thought, while I'm awake and still feeling adventurous, I would um, <clears throat> attempt to prototype an aircraft carrier. Now, <clears throat> oh, my voice is just shot to bits. As you can see, it's not really a... Um, fully fledged design it's not exactly the most complex thing in the world it's just some bits and some more bits stuck together with an engine on it but obviously if I if it works I could go ahead and um, start upping the size of it maybe a little because this is causing no lag whatsoever um, could add some actual hull plating to it that'll be a good start and um, just you know pretty it out a little bit more like put the batteries and solar panels somewhere neater the only issue with an aircraft carrier is it's not the most um what do I say not the most symmetrical of vehicles if you look at any aircraft carrier they're generally one side is longer than the other. I've probably got it wrong on this one, but it's a prototype, so that's fine. But yeah, usually one side is longer than the other, and that would be the side that the aircraft land on. It would have a whole landing strip. Obviously, just for quick testing, just whack something together. Very basic. Apart from this, I did this bit. Like that. It's very nice. <laughs> it's a, yes, but it needs to be neat on top of the cockpit. I wonder what we can see. <laughs> we can see lots of metal. It's always nice. So yes, there's not much in front of it. Um, Engine-wise, we've got a huge engine going right the way throughout of it. Um got these the external intakes because well, they're placed there a because they um provide air, air and b because they resist water really well and i don't think it was going to float very well Shh. so they're there for extra buoyancy basically and in a finished design they would probably still be there why aren't the brakes working uh brakes Okay, good. The bricks do work. Yes, yeah, take a while because it's so freaking big. And this is going to be getting this into the water in one piece because the front is going to want to start floating before the back by a long way. So it's going to be interesting. I'm probably going to do it very, very slowly. Like, yeah. When I say slowly, I mean like, yeah, two meters per second slow. Alright, now even less. Float. Good. And accelerate, push it back in. Cool. Right, so those wheels are now gone. 
And I want to engage the engine and just slowly push ourselves out of the debris. Looks like that one is actually stuck to us. Yeah, we have one a little bit stuck. Let's try and wiggle it off. The good news is it's floating. I'm not sure if it's that that's pushing this up. Yeah, if I go four times, because things um, don't collide at four times speed, apparently. There we go. Yeah, so obviously that side is heavier because it has got that. <laughs> but it does seem to be floating. Let's just floor it. It does seem to be floating. We can obviously fix that weight issue. I imagine it's going to be an issue whilst We can get 1.5 meters per second. Um, it's different. It's not the fastest thing in the water in the world. But it, it works. As a relative... It, the, like, it is ridiculously close to the water. This side, look at that, it's literally touching. Yeah, now if I cut engines, and we try and go over to... There he is. Kerbal swim. About to find out. I think they can. Yeah, Kerbals can swim. Oh god, this is going to take a while. Can we fast forward? <laughs> we can't fast forward anymore. She can't even fast forward anymore, Katten. Oh gosh, we run along the beach and then swim? Because Turbo's swimming seems to be very slow. Yeah, running there. Um, this fucking Usain Kerbal. I reckon I can swim on board of that boat. Right. Come on, Gerbil. Swim. Oh, they've only got one mode of swimming. There's no fast swim. <laughs> How slow is this then? Oh my god. That is my target. 100... 10 meters away. Go! Swim! 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 Huh! Swim! Huh! Swim! Huh! Swim! I don't know what that fuck that was. Um. Row! And row! And row! And. <laughs> Come on, Kerbal. You can do it! You can do it! You can do it! You can do it! Go! Go 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 swim faster I need a mod or something to swim faster please Right So here we are I reckon Come on get up on there You can do it you can do it. No? Oh, come on. It's like literally. Oh, 
Come on. Hey, there we go. Via the magic of glitching. We are now aboard the boat. Climb up the ladder. <laughs> Fall off the ladder. Climb up the ladder. Fall off the ladder. Climb up the ladder. Fall off. <laughs> okay, so there are a few issues with the boat. But, you know, it sort of works. I'd like to see what it looks like at night with all the lights on. If I go back to um yeah, the boat and all the lights. Jays and then go. There we go. Jeez, that is a um That's a lot of light you have there. Yeah, no doubts. The Kerbals will be able to see where they are landing. And the boat will be able to see where it's going. For quite a distance, yes. Cool, so that could work. I will actually look into um, trying to create some sort of aircraft carrier from stock parts then. Hmm, that could be an interesting challenge. Until then, goodbye.